Ciao a tutti. Good evening everybody. Non parlo molto bene l'inglese. I don't speak very well English. Però voglio dire quattro parole. But I want to have a few words. I have a few words I want to say in your own language. My name is Massimiliano. Matthew. And I'm from CMA Italy. It's a privilege to be here with you, to be part of this big family, to be part of this great ministry, and it's a privilege to be part of CMA. Uh, venendo qui, ho visto una scritta che diceva, welcome home. When we arrived here, I saw this big banner that said, Welcome home. Io mi sono veramente sentito a casa. And I really felt I was home. Sapete, dove vivo a volte incontro persone che conosco da tanti anni, ma tu li vedi, girano la testa e non ti salutano. In the place where I live, there is sometimes I met friends or people that I've not seen for many years, and I know them for many years. But when they see me, they just turn from the back to me and go away. Venendo qui, when I came here, ho trovato molta gente che veniva incontro a me per salutarmi e mi conosceva tramite Facebook. I've seen a lot of people here coming right at me in my face and because they met me through Facebook. Io non mi ricordavo di loro. I don't necessarily remember them. Ma loro sì. But they remember me. Hanno pregato per me, per CMA Italy. They prayed for me, they prayed for CMA Italy. E per me è stato un grande incoraggiamento sapere che persone lontano dall'Italia pensano a me, pensano all'Italia, hanno un cuore per gli altri fratelli This has really encouraged me to know that brothers from far away have a hard desire for Italy, for us, for other people that are away on the other side of the world. I can truly tell you that Rene and his team, how do I say this? Increased my prayer life tremendously. <laughs> I'll kind of leave it at that and tell you sometime how. <laughs> if you arrive in South Africa and you are an ex Dallas motorcycle cop, yeah. we just wanted to see what he was made of. He did well. <laughs> to be here tonight. I, all the South Africans that have, that, have, that have come with us, I didn't see Russell and Chris. Russell and Chris, if you're here as well, quickly, would you come up here? Thank you. If you get your athletic body somewhere. Thank you. Would you come? Quiz runs our, our northern region and is a real blessing to us. Gerald, 
by Cheryl Foreman. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Lord for allowing us to be here. But I'd like to thank you for allowing us to be here. Amen. Amen. We are blessed to be here. It's an awesome experience. Thank you. I'm Francois of Scotland, and uh, I had the privilege to be here three years ago. And I couldn't stay away, so I had to come again. <laughs> um, my wife said uh, that she feels sorry for all of you because I talk most of more than the average woman. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, it's an honor to be here. And I just realized again, God's word says that uh, with the love you've got for one another, people will know that you are my disciples. Yeah. Thank you for your love. And uh, we really love you guys. It's awesome to be here. Very nice. My name is Russell, and uh, we just like to thank you all for making it happen as well. We've been here. And, uh, we just love to see you all in South Africa at our rally. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just saying, that's part of the team that makes us able to do what we're doing. I'm going to ask Ramon to come greet you quickly. Good evening. It's such a pleasure to be here with you again. Uh, I think this is pretty much the fifth year now since 2005 that we've had the privilege of coming and being with you at the Changing of the Colors and uh, we really do see you as our family. Massimiliano from Italy said when he came through the gates he saw Welcome Home and you know my home's in, in Midrand in South Africa but um, I must say that very honestly and listen just to get a cheer out of you the truth is in my heart when I drive through those gates I feel like I'm home. Yeah. to have my family follow Jesus and be involved with us. Amen. And here's the lady that has been with me for 35 years. Hey everybody, like Ron says, um, we've just been here so many years, one year after the other. I think we missed last year. But just to say again, thank you for all the love and acceptance and the good food, and your hospitality, and just your love, and your warmth, and your friendliness that we receive here every year. It is just so good to be here again. And uh, this year, it's been our 30th year. Not the easiest year that we've had, but it's, God has been good once again. And God remains good. Even though sometimes we are faithless, God remains faithful. Amen. And we just appreciate Him and love Him for that so much. And at the same time, I just want to say thank you so much for the prayers that have gone up internationally. Not only the Americans, but we appreciate your prayers so much for our family, but internationally, we really love and appreciate you because we know your hearts are warm. And we love you. And there's nothing more than prayer. I mean, how awesome to know you get up in the morning and somebody has already prayed for you. Amen. The difficulties that you go, but God is good. And you know, Isaiah 43, 13b, the last part of, of, of verse 13 is still my favorite scripture where it says, When God is at work, who can reverse it? Amen. Amen. And I hold on to that. Amen. And I just want to say thank you guys. Renee said keep it short, but may I just tell you one wonderful thing that has happened in our lives. A little girl by the name of Diella was born in June two years ago. She's now 27 months old. If you haven't seen her picture, please ask me. She's gorgeous. <laughs> She was really little and she'd get into bed with us in the morning and she would point to her grandpa's coffee and she'd say to him, I want oak juice. 
So coffee is called okra juice. And okra means rain pop. Sorry guys, you don't know about okra. And then I had a car wreck a little while ago, and she comes to me, she puts my face in her little hands, and she says, Oh, that's Grandma. I pray for you, and I kiss you, and you're going to get better. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. You are wonderful, wonderful people. We just love coming to you. And may God bless you in every area that you work and the efforts that you put in to win the lost for Jesus Christ. May God honor every one of those efforts. We love you. Amen. Thank you, Thank you for your team to come here to make uh, support us in this. Just you heard that a lot of the people that have got up here from the international part of, of the ministry speak with the same deep southern accent that I do. <laughs> and, and we are, are excited about the fact that God has planted somebody in Dubai, from South Africa, in New Zealand, in Australia, in Croatia. So, uh, who else am I missing? So, those, those are countries Zambia, yes, okay. Right. What I want to do this evening is just challenge you with this. The scripture makes it very clear that people will not know unless we go and tell them. And we've asked people that when they thinking of immigrating to very specifically say, Lord, am I what's driving me? Greed, fear, or are you calling me? So I'd like to challenge you tonight, and that's why Jerry Williams is back here tonight, before we even preach. Some of you are at a time in your life where you can afford to give God a year of your life. Where you want to say, Lord, I would like to go and work in a foreign country for a year. But we don't have a program together. I want to challenge you about this tonight and say, what can we do for Jesus? We've heard about the Balkan States. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you can take a year or two of your life? and go and work in a, in a, in a country self-supporting to go and help establish CMA somewhere else in the world. That's a big challenge, isn't it? Uh, we're not going to pay your expenses, we're not going to do anything else. You have the opportunity to lose your life for Jesus' sake. And Jesus spoke very clearly, and Brother Andrew always reminds us of that, that he told us to go. He didn't say anything about coming back. <laughs> and, and and we've had two of those experiences where I nearly lost Ramon on the trip to Russia. My son and then my wife just three weeks ago involved in a very serious motor car accident where God miraculously spared a life in, in, in uh, Namibia. What I want to say to you is just simply this, is that God has a purpose and a plan for you. The way that God's going to reach the world is through the people sitting here. And as Jerry sings this song tonight, I don't want you just to stand because others are standing. We can just pray a prayer of dedication before we even look at the word. At the word. But we want to say, Lord, there's a world to reach out there. There are motorcyclists that need Jesus. And, and think carefully before you stand. Don't stand because it looks cool. Or stand because you, you like people with a foreign accent. But because you realize that you're hearing the call of God. You've heard this song many times. But tonight, listen to it with new, with new ears. And believe that God will open the eyes of your heart as Jerry sings this song. And you want to join in with us. And if you want to believe and say, Lord, I'm going to trust you. There are no plans together yet, Lord, but I'm going to believe you from tonight. This is, we walk by, not, not by sight. 